What's up, y'all? I'm giving the Modest Days Girl Mitch back with a brand new video. If you're new, hey girl, thank you guys for watching. Before I start the video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down some eyes on my channel. So, you read the title. I'm gonna be doing a little makeup look for spring slash summer. I don't know what I'm gonna call this video, but it's just gonna be a little makeup look. And if you like how my makeup came out, flawless, pretty, or whatever, stay tuned and let's get into the video. So the first step, I'm doing my eyebrows. I'm taking this eyebrow pencil in dark brown. I got it from my beauty supply store. And I'm making sure I outline my brows to where my brows ends at. I'm just trying to go for a natural eyebrow look, nothing too dramatic. So I'm making sure I'm taking my time and just looking at the length of my eyebrows. Because my eyebrows wasn't, you know, trimmed at this moment when I was filming this video. But I was just trying to, you know, finesse it. Then I'm just, you know, doing the top of my brow. And I make sure when I'm doing the top of my brow, I take my time because you can mess up when you're doing your top of your brows. You, make, you can make it so dramatic. So I'm just trying to make it natural as possible. So I'm filling in my brows and I make sure I'm taking my time because I don't want to, you know, do too dark. And I'm just blending it in because I'm going for this natural eyebrow look. And I'm making sure I'm blending properly and I'm going to do the same step that I did on the last brow. Next step, I'm going to be concealing my brows and I'm going in with this Morphe M 2024 brush to conceal my brows. And the concealer that I'm using is Javier Place in the number 7 Conceal My Brows. And I'm taking my time to conceal my brows because that's how I want my brows to shape out really nice and, you know, decent. After concealing my brows, I'm going with this brush called Flat Top Concealer. And I got it from Target. This is going to help me blend in my concealer. And I'm also going with this smaller beauty blender brush that I think I got from my beauty supply store to help me get a little smaller cracks that I couldn't get with my brows. And yeah. So next step, I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone. I'm using this little highlighter um, brush from Amazon and this um, highlighter palette from Morphe in the color blaze to highlight my brow bone. Now it's just to set my base for my eyeshadow look and I'm using the same concealer I use on my eyebrows. Next, I'm using my Real Techniques setting brush to set my face in this finishing powder from Morphe in Filter 11. For my eyeshadow look, I'm using this Revolution palette in the number 12 to blend in this brown look in my crease. And I make sure I blend it in properly. And then I go in with the 12 to blend in this type of reddish color. But afterwards, you see that I try to blend it in so you won't really see it. So I was going for this like natural glam look, to be honest. And I'm just 
blended it in my little, you know, my lid. And yeah, I'm not doing too much because I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I'm doing what works for me. And yeah. So it's my face time. So I'm going in with this Morphe foundation primer. And next I go in with this Jovia Place foundation full coverage in the number 130 Mali. And I'm blending that in with my Real Techniques foundation. Next step, I'm concealing the areas where I put this concealer at, which is called Highlight. So I'm using the same concealer in Trivia Place in the number 7. And you'll just see the areas where I put it at the bridge of my nose and, you know, at the top of my forehead. And Next step, I'm going in with my beauty blender that I got from Morphe and bedding in the areas where I put my highlight at. And this step, you want to be, you know, have patience and you want to make sure you blend in properly because you don't want to have no cracks where you put your concealer at. And yeah, just blend, 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 blend. So next step, I'm contouring, and I cannot contour for nothing. I'm still learning to contour, and I think with this palette, I feel like I'm just putting extra product on my face. So I really need to invest and get me a contour stick because I think that if I get me a contour stick, it will actually show me a difference because this little powder ain't doing nothing. So yeah, I was actually not doing nothing with this powder. It was just putting product onto product, to be honest. Now it's just time to put on my finishing powder and this finishing powder is from Morphe is in filter 11 and I'm just putting it in the areas where I put my concealer at so yeah. So it's time to highlight now. So the brush that I'm using to highlight is from Morphe M510. And I'm just using that to put the highlight at my cheekbones, my forehead. And I'm using the same highlighter palette from Morphe in the color Blaze. Last and final step is to do my lip combo. So I'm using the same eyebrow pencil and dark brow to just outline my. Next, I'm going in with any beauty supply lip gloss. I know every girl knows this lip gloss. And I'm using that to, you know, fill in my lips because it was dry. And then I go in with this other lip gloss from NYX, Butter Gloss. And that's the combo that I use for my lips. Makeup came out and it looks so beautiful. I'm so proud of myself because it just looks so, you know, so pretty. And yeah.